being human. So, Parasite and other movies of this year, such as Us and Knives Out, are all rooted in the theme of classism. And to break that down and inspire a larger conversation, we turned to the internet to find an article to frame our first discussion. So, in a recent article, according to research published by the American Psychological Association, people who see themselves as being in a higher social class may tend to have an exaggerated belief that they are more adept than their equally capable lower class counterparts. And that overconfidence can often be misinterpreted by others as greater competence in important situations, such as job interviews. So, newsflash, people in a higher social class have a more elevated sense of themselves. So, Frank, as our resident Frank, uh, what are your thoughts on this? these findings from the APA? I am, I, I, I think it's, I agree with it. <clears throat> and over the years, as, as I've met people or I've had friends who are more my middle class buddies and they move into large sums of wealth, they act differently um, and they tend to be a little bit meaner. And I also, I mean, just the other day I, I pulled up and there was this very expensive, probably a $240,000 Range Rover just parked in a place that it wasn't even a parking spot. And it, it's just that they have this greater sense of importance that they're able to be above the law um, and be, a, be above sort of the norms for a middle class. I, I, uh, family, I, know, I know an individual who's in the billions of dollars. And his accountant has a very specific line item for parking tickets where he would get somewhere between 240 and 200 or 300 parking tickets every year because he would just park wherever he wanted. And he would just pay them off. He, he just didn't care. So he'd park in handicap. He would park by a curb. And it was a Bentley, so typically it wasn't towed. But, yeah, they, it, it's like, well— I'm more important than the rest of you, so I, there's a special set of rules for me. And it makes me sick at my stomach. Well, then. <laughs> um, I was going to say that basically it feels like this article makes sense because when people are in a position of power, they would like to stay in that position of power. And so then how we're all socialized... You know, and one of the things I appreciate about it was this article discussed how middle class, it's it's socialized to be okay for you to express yourself, communicate, differentiate, be unique in order to rise up. But then lower class individuals, you know, it's more in a nutshell, know your place, right? Like mm -hmm. we, you know, want to, to stay where we're at, um, or excuse me, we don't want to stay where we're at, but we also don't want to disrupt the powers that be and make our situation worse, which is horrible when you really think about it. You know, there's, there's been so much research and data over the years about how we interpret people like ability, intelligence, leadership through such superficial means, right? Height, smile, uh, shape of their face, things of that nature. So it makes sense that if you see somebody or somebody sees themselves in a very affluent and an elitist sort of way that it really can over-inflate their sense of self. But they're probably getting a lot of that reinforcement from other people, mm -hmm. that the way they project themselves, the way that they carry themselves, kind of communicates that to other people. I was listening yesterday to Conan O'Brien's podcast, Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, and he's talking with comedian John Mulaney. And John Mulaney is talking about how his dad and him were going to uh, – a college and they were and his dad was dressed in a suit and as they were walking into this university there was a student that was being sort of um, get, hassled by security you know where's your student ID and John as, as a teen or as a kid and his dad just walked by without any disruption and later uh, later on his dad turned to him and said the power of dressing well like mm. there's just certain things that people afford you the way you present, and then what they assume is associated with that. So people that come from high socioeconomic status have all of these external, I might argue shallow and superficial, 
kind of um, symbols and signs that other people interpret as power, influence, likability, and capability. You know, it's also, I think, um, it's who you surround yourself with. It's what the great Hannibal Lecter once said, we covet what we see every day. And I look at these mansion neighborhoods and, and you're in a silo of, well, this is how we behave and this is how we talk about things. And um, it's sort of a self-perpetuating culture that we are all privileged. Thanks for watching this Being Human segment from the Shrink Tank podcast. To watch the full episode, click here, or to check out previous episodes, click here.